Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Dusty here. Today, I've got a really uh, in-depth video for you on how to start your very own WordPress website. In my opinion, uh, with all of the different, I guess you would say, options out there, whether it be Squarespace or Wix or doing it yourself by coding it, I have always found that utilizing WordPress as your back end of your website is the best option. So I'm gonna walk you through that all the way from getting the domain name, getting the hosting set up, all the way to uh, working your way around WordPress on how to add posts, how to add images and pages and add plugins and all of that good stuff. So if that's something that interests you, let's go ahead and dive in. Now, the first thing you're gonna need to do is get hosting for your website. Now, I will say this, uh, I am partnered with Bluehost to actually give you up to 50% off plus a free domain name. So if you want to work along with me on this video, click the link in the description. The first link you'll see, you'll get up to 50% off your hosting plan for a couple of years, as well as a free domain name. So go ahead and click that link, try that out, tell me what you think, and then walk and work through this with me. So when you're at the Bluehost website, bluehost.com, there's tons of other hosting services. I'm not saying that Bluehost is the only one. This is the one that I've always used. They've got great customer service. Service. They've got great feature sets, and so this is the one that I've always used. So what you're going to want to do is when you get to Bluehost, go up to where you see hosting, and then go down to where you see shared hosting. Now, if you have a lot more, you know, I guess you would say if you expect a lot more visitors, if you expect your website to be very uh, highly trafficked, then you may want to go to a dedicated host, which would be a little more expensive. But if you're watching this video, you probably want to choose the shared hosting option, and I've used that for years on my sites, and I just recently had to actually upgrade so once you're here you're gonna see the different prices you're gonna see the basic you're gonna see the plus you're gonna see the prime now with the discount via my link you're gonna see a little maybe a different prices here but the ones that you know you can look at you can compare the different things here within each package the one that I would go with personally would be this prime account over here so select the one that you think will fit your website click the green button and then once you get to the next page it's going to ask you what do you want your domain name to be. So for me, I'm actually starting, uh, I've started a new podcast. And so I want a domain name uh, website built around that podcast because right now I just have it on my personal site. So what I'm going to do is type in the domain name here. So to see if your domain name is available, the first thing you need to do is under new domain, go ahead and type in the domain name that you're wanting to get. So for me, it is entrepreneursminuteshow.com because that's the name of my podcast, Entrepreneurs Minute. And then once you're ready, click the blue next button to see if that is available. Now, if it is available, you will see this next. You will see the uh, place and location for you to insert your account information as well as your payment information. So go ahead and fill all of this out. Now, if it's not available, it will say, hey, this one is not available to register it's already taken it'll ask you to then type in another desired URL until you find one that is available now once you've filled out all of this information here filled out the payment information click the I have agreed button here and then click the green submit button at the bottom of the screen so Congratulations, you now have a URL. That's all you have. If you go to that URL right now, there will be nothing there. There will be a Bluehost basically placeholder. So we've got to uh, go ahead and import and work on the back end of WordPress to get all of that up and running. So we're going to do that now. Now, when coming back to Bluehost, after you have created a Bluehost account and you've already signed up and got your free domain name by using my link in the description, you will see the login button in the upper right hand corner. Click that and then you'll basically type in your email or your domain name plus the password when you registered for Bluehost. So go ahead and do that now if you haven't already. All right, and now that you are logged into your Bluehost account, you've already got your URL set up. You should see the domain name in the upper right hand corner right here of your screen. It should say shared if you got the shared hosting. Now, if you did something else, it'll say dedicated or whatever plan you decided to go with. And then when you're ready, I want you to navigate to your C panel. This is where all the wonderful things will begin to happen. Under your C panel, you're going to see a few different things. You're going to see under website, website manager, install WordPress, Weebly, one click installs, all of this good stuff. The one that I want you to go with is the install WordPress option. So go ahead and click on the install WordPress button there under the website section when you were under the C panel. So once we click on that, we're going to see this option here. So select domain for installation. Now, obviously you can let a pro do it for you, but you wouldn't be watching this video if you needed that. So I'm going to show you everything they're going to show you 
uh, getting your domain name and website set up. So next, what you want to do is click the drop down menu here where you see domain. Now you'll only see one URL. Obviously I have a ton of them. So select the one that you just created, the URL that you just got with your hosting plan. And then once you've done that, go ahead and click the green next button here. All right. And once you've hit the green next button, it's going to show you this admin information here. Now I'm going to say this, I'm going to urgently tell you guys, please write all of this information down. This is going to be your admin username when you go log in this is your username this is going to be your admin password you can change this now if you want to I encourage you guys please write all of this stuff down so I'm gonna go ahead and jot this down for myself if you want to you can even copy it now just to have it on the clipboard on your computer or Mac or PC whatever you're using and then click the green next button once again it's going to then say I preparing installation. This can take uh, as long as five or six minutes or maybe as short as 30 seconds to a minute. It really just depends. Right now we're at about 45%. You should see the progress bar in the upper right hand corner. Let this thing do its thing. And then when it's done, it'll let you know, hey, your site has now had WordPress installed and you're ready to go to the back end to start designing your website. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to that segment of the video. All right, when it's done installing, you will see this green check mark. It'll say your installation was successful. It'll tell you the installation details over here. Another good option would be to take a screenshot of this so you don't lose it. So if you want to do that now, go ahead and take a screenshot of your username, which will be your email address as well as your password. Now, it's going to then tell you or try to sell you some WordPress themes. I'm going to go ahead and tell you now, you probably want to take some time to browse the themes. A WordPress theme is basically the paint. So it basically is what makes your site look like it does. So a theme is going to be the aesthetics of the site, the way the menus and the drop downs look, the way the homepage looks, and they're going to try to sell you on a bunch of stuff. Now, just hold tight on that. And then I can you know, recommend some and there's also free ones as well if you kind of want an inexpensive and there's some good ones out there that are free as well. So once you're ready to go to the WordPress back end and start working on your site, just go ahead and it's just as simple as clicking on your domain name or URL up here underneath installation details. So if we click that, it's then going to present us with the login. This is what it's going to look like when you log into WordPress every time you need to edit or change something on your site. Now, this is where you input your username and password that I told you guys to write down earlier and also to access this and you probably want to bookmark it you go to your domain name so go to www.yourdomainname.com slash WP login very simple I'll show that on the screen right now for basically ease of use so go ahead and log in I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then once you're logged in you will be presented with your WordPress dashboard this is where all of the magic happens this is where you will add posts you will add pages you will add images and videos and plugins all of the things that make up a website you will be doing this here on the WordPress dashboard now there's gonna be a couple of things with the new WordPress where they basically figure out a little bit about your site it's gonna say what kind of site can we help you set up so for me let's go ahead and do business for you it may be personal now this is where it's going to ask you what the title of your site is so for me it's going to be entrepreneurs minute now for you obviously it's going to be different and then the site description this is basically where you type in like your tagline or a description of kind of what you're doing just a very brief tagline about your site and then you can always go back and change that so you know type in tagline here if you want to and then go to next step are you going to update your site with news or blog post if you are you can hit yes if not hit no and then this next step is a pretty big one actually do you want there to be an updated home page where every post you you know distribute will come up on your home page or do you want there to be a static welcome page so do you, do you want the home page to be something that stays the same and normally what I do on all of my sites is that I go in here and do a static welcome page and then if you want to it'll actually allow you know you can allow them to build you a starter contact us page I'm gonna click yes and then go from there it's also going to ask you do you want to connect your jetpack profile this is something we can cover later but right now I'm gonna go ahead and hit not now because that's not very important also it's gonna allow you to insert your uh, address street address physical address if that's something you want to do do that here I'm not gonna do it for the purposes of this video and also if you're looking to sell merchandise you can do that through WooCommerce so uh, basically you can click the blue button to install that plugin but I'm not going to be selling anything so I'm gonna go ahead and click not now uh, it's gonna say let's launch entrepreneurs 
minute, which is the name of my site. And then it's going to say, all of that stuff is done. Let's go ahead and customize your site. Now, when you click this button, this is where, in what I was talking about earlier, it's going to take you to view the different themes. So right now, the active theme on this website and probably for yours in the future, will either be 2017, 2018, 2019, whatever year you are watching this video. If you want to change that, you click on the change button here, and then you can browse all of the different free themes that they have available here uh, by going to wordpress.org themes. It will then load up all of the free themes that you can choose from. And again, like I said, there's a lot of really good free themes. So if you want to install a new theme or a new paint for your website, what you would do is you'd find the one that you would want and then go to install and preview. So when you click on that, it's going to download the theme. It will then install it for you and then give you an actual live preview to show you what that looks like. So this is kind of what it would look like here. Again, we have no information, no data or any type of you know content on the site just yet, but this is going to kind of show you exactly what it looks like. And when you're ready to activate a specific theme, you then go to activate activate and publish in the upper left hand corner. Now, you don't have to purchase your theme from the actual wordpress.org database. You can go out and Google WordPress theme, download the zip file, it needs to be a .zip file, and then upload that later. And if you want to do that, I'll show you how to do that next. So once you're ready, it'll say published up here in the upper right hand corner. And so once it's published, it's going to give you the different options within the theme. Every theme is different. It's going to have your site identity, which which is the name of your site, the tagline that we entered earlier. You'll have an option, an area where you can select the logo of your site if you have one of those designed. And then also, you're going to see something here uh, that basically is called a site icon or a favicon. That's going to be the little thing right here when you go to a site, like the little block here and the one for, right here for Gmail. It's going to show that little image whenever someone goes to your site in a browser tab. That's very important. It's also going to give you the ability to view what your site's going to look like on a tablet down here, on a mobile device, just to see how mobile friendly your site's going to be. And just a pro tip, you want your site to be very mobile friendly because that's probably going to be the lump sum of your traffic. It's going to be coming from mobile or tablet devices. So make sure that your site is going to look good on mobile devices. And most themes do. So we're going to go ahead and X out of the theme options here just because we have already done that. Now, if you want to up upload your own theme, like I was telling you just a few minutes ago, basically go to appearance and then right here where you see themes, click on themes once again, and that will then pop the themes option up to you here. And you have an option to go shop premium themes, like I told you earlier, wordpress.org free themes, which is where we just were, or you can upload a new theme by clicking the upload button locating the zip file on your hard hard drive or wherever you've saved it go to upload theme find it on your hard drive select it and then upload it right here directly into add themes now for me uh, there's plenty of themes here to choose from that are either free or premium that look good enough for me at this point if you want to you can always google and have someone customize the theme for you if that's what you want to do but if you're watching this video you probably want to stick kind of with one of these simple free themes at first just to see and just to get started so that's kind of how you adjust the appearance and the look of your site. So let's go ahead and go back to the dashboard, which is going to be the home page of whenever you log into your WordPress dashboard. Next thing you're going to want to do is play around with the tools and start figuring out how to design and publish posts and pages for your website. So let's go ahead and dive into that. Now, the first thing you want to do is on your post here, this is where you'll add new posts. Okay. And these posts will be either blog posts or they might be podcast episodes. However, you have it formatted. Added, you could add your post here. So this is where you would go to post and add new posts. And I'll show you that very shortly. But the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to pages and then I want you to go to all pages just to kind of get a feel and look for what it's going to look like. So the initial four pages you're going to see when you have your uh, you know website started on WordPress is going to be blog, which will be the post page, a contact us page, a home page, which will be the static front page of your website, and a sample page just to show you kind of what it looks like. So if we go to the sample page here and click on that you can always go and change and edit your pages if you want to when you're in the pages here I'm gonna get rid of some of this up here because there's no need to have all of that there what you can do is you're gonna see the title of that page up here 
you're going to see the content, the meat of that page will be here. And then you're going to see a few different options. So go ahead and create your first page. So let's go ahead and call this, you know, whatever you want to call it. Let's call this page one of our website. Go ahead and type in some fun stuff in the meat of your page here. And then under page layout, select the drop down and you can either choose it to be a primary sidebar a content primary sidebar or if you don't want a sidebar you can do that and click that last option there for me I'm gonna do a primary sidebar just to kind of get started and then do I want to feature do I want the featured image to be on the detail page again you can just say no image it just makes it a lot easier if you want to we can always set a featured image and go and I'll show you that on my fleshed out website here in a few seconds so once you're done with your site and not your site I'm sorry once you're done with your page and you've done and added everything that you wanted go ahead and up here under the permalink so if that's something that you know you make sure that that's kind of set to the way you want it to be and then click the blue update or it may say post if it's a new page and if you want to preview the changes and the edits that you've made all you have to do is go up here to preview changes it's gonna load your actual website and the actual site so here is my entrepreneurs minute website page one is the title there's the description the meat of the content and here's the sidebar that we just talked about the sidebar will be over here so let's go ahead and go back to the WordPress dashboard so that's how you would edit pages and if you want to add a page it's as simple as going under pages add new and then you basically add a new page so the same thing works for post as well so if we go to post and we go to all post we're gonna go ahead and see the different posts that comes natively within WordPress which will be one called hello world obviously you don't want that there so in order to delete a post you click the little box there and then under bulk actions click that drop down go to move to trash and then hit apply and that's going to apply that whatever you're doing to the all the posts that you selected now if you want to add a new post again underneath post go to post add new just like that there and it's going to give you the same format the same back end as you had with the pages so enter the title of the actual post here so go ahead and put in you know post title here meat of the page will go here and then you'll choose the layout once again and once you learn how to do all of this it's going to become second nature to you but again it's going to take some time to get used to uh, and the featured image will be an image that you set for the actual post if you want that you can do that here as well now under format over here you can either choose standard image video quote gallery or audio for me I'm gonna choose standard but if it's a type of you know content you can choose that under format under categories that's gonna be the next big thing for me to show you guys categories think of them as basically segments of your site that's going to have people underneath them so basically like playlist on YouTube or categories will be the different breakdown of content on your site so right now we have no categories in order to add a new category to our site we go to categories over here under post you're gonna see that under post so go to categories here and then once we're here we're gonna add a new category so go ahead and give your category a name so we'll say category one the slug is going to be like a URL friendly uh, so basically it'll be like entrepreneurs minute show dot com slash and then whatever you want it to be so put you know category one here if that's what you want to do and then parent category is if you want it to be under a drop down so right now we don't have any categories but if we want it to drop down under a specific one under parent category we would choose which one that would be and that would allow it to go in a drop down menu underneath a parent category that's how that works under description you always always want to give your categories descriptions when you do that it makes them more SEO friendly it makes them easier to search and it's just overall a better uh, you know practice to do get in the habit of when you're doing your website so description of that here and then click the blue button that says add new category once you've done that you will then see category one come available to you over here in the menu bar that's great that's how you know that it's you know been put in the right place so if you want to delete categories the same thing works as it did with post select the box bulk action delete and then click the apply button but we're not going to do that because I want to show you guys what it looks like when you have a category so we've covered pages we've covered post we've covered categories now let's talk about how do we handle plugins and different things that we want to add to our site to really the, the bells and whistles so if we go here and go to plugins and then go to add new so let's go to plugins here let's t just click on plugins over here in the in the toolbar and underneath plugins you're gonna see them try to sell you on a bunch of uh, plugins that they think that everyone should install again I would go to YouTube go to Google type in top 10 plugins to have for WordPress and then go with those 
you're going to see here on the plugins page the ones that are automatically installed. Obviously, you have Bluehost, you have Google Analytics, which is a great one to keep up with stats for your website. Hello Dolly and a couple of other ones that you really don't need. You can go through here and I can't really speak for you, but if you want to delete a plugin, basically you click the, the, the box here just like we did earlier, bulk actions you know, delete and then apply. It works very, very similar to every other format within WordPress. Now, if we want to add a new plugin, we click the add new button in the upper left hand corner. Now think of these plugins as, you know, I guess you would say secondary toys or bells and whistles that really make your website pop that add the extra spice or whatever you want to call it to your website. Now, the ones that are going to come up are going to be the featured plugins, the one that the ones that most people use. You're going to see here the amount of active users and installations for specific plugins. So like this one here, WP Super Cache. This is one that I highly recommend. It's basically a caching engine for WordPress. It protects and produces static HTML files. It's good for for helping your speed, your load speed on your site. So let's just go ahead and install that one. So let's say we wanted to install this plugin here. There's gonna be a big install now button right on top of the box. Click install now. It'll take a few seconds to install. And then once it installs, it'll have a blue button come up available here that says activate. Click the blue button there that says activate because once it's installed, it's not necessarily working on your site just yet. You have to click the blue activate button. now. Once it is installed and ready to use. Now we see we get a warning up here for WP Super Cache. So basically we're going to dismiss that. Once you have installed a plugin, you need to make sure you go to your plugin section here and then go and make sure there it is right here. But you want to go to the settings of that plugin and make sure everything is configured correctly. So obviously I'd have to go through here and configure WP Super Cache to make it work properly on my site. Now plugins, I highly recommend that you tinker around with the plugins. You get a social media sharing plugin. You get an SEO plugin. A lot of the ones that I like to use, if we go to popular here, I'm sure we'll see one, uh, are the SEO check. So it allows you every time you start typing up a page or a, a post on your site, it will tell you how SEO friendly your post is. The one I like is this one here, Yoast SEO. Uh, and another one that I've used is this one here called All in One SEO Pack. Basically, this is the back end, uh, you know, as you're typing up a post, it'll let you know if your post is going to be search engine friendly, which is obviously what we all want, whether, whether we're a business, a brand, a company, whatever it is, you want it to be SEO friendly. So play around with plugins, see which ones work for you, and you will see that they add a lot of value to your site. Now, the last thing I wanna show you on the tools end is going to be the main settings of your site. If we click on this little bar here, the one that says settings under tools, click on settings there, just the general settings, we're gonna see this come up to us here. This is where we will change the title of our site if we want to, the tagline that we added earlier, the address or URL, which is going to be, you know, for me, entrepreneursminuteshow.com. For you, it's gonna be obviously something different. The email address, this is going to be used for admin purposes to log in. Also, it's going to allow us to, will it be a membership site? If that's the case, you can choose the box here. So look at all of this and make sure that it is all relevant and it is all correct. And then when you're done, go to the bottom, click the blue save changes button. Next, go to writing. Underneath settings, go to writing. This is going to be for you as you're publishing content. So basically this here is going to show you, you know, here you can add new admins, add new logins, basically right here. And you do that under writing. Under reading, this is is going to be how your site is seen from the outside. So obviously this is where you would change your home plate, your home page display. Do you want it to be your latest post or do you want it to be a static page, which is the one that I always prefer. And this is where you'll choose what page shows up when people go to your domain name or your URL. So the home page for me is set to home page. Obviously you can change that to be whatever page you want once you've created it. And then for a blog page, you want it to show how many posts. So for my blog page, maybe I want it to show seven posts. I highlight that, change it to seven, and now it'll only show seven for my blog post. And then hit save changes when you are ready. Last one that I wanna show you is permalinks. If we click on permalinks here, this is extremely crucial. 
You can change that to be the date and time. You can change it to the month and name, numeric, post name. The one that I normally always go with is going to be a post name. So for me, I always change that to post name. That way, if it's like a podcast or uh, a blog post, I can change that to be, you know, my URL slash post name. It's really easy to tell people how to get to something when you do it that way. And then when you're ready, click the blue save changes button and you are ready to go. So I'm going to bounce over to my established site and show you a few different things to kind of how it's going to look when you flesh it out. All right. And then once you get more posts and more information on your site, you're going to see basically your dashboard look like this, where you have your Google Analytics summary over here. Obviously, I have a bunch of plugins that I've installed. You're going to see recent activity, but I did want to show you kind of what it looks like. So if we go to post and then go to all post, we're going to see the different posts that I've published recently. So right here, I have a podcast. So here's all the posts that I've posted. So let's go ahead and go to one of my posts. And I want to break it down and show you exactly what a post looks like when you're ready to publish it on your website. So for me, I have the title here up in the title box like I showed you guys earlier. Under category, it's going to be a podcast, as you can tell over here by the checkbox. Underneath tags, this is where you will tag your post for SEO goodness. This is where uh, the search engines will crawl the post and see how you've tagged it, and it'll be over here underneath the tag. So uh, obviously, I have my name, I have the title of the, the podcast, uh, my podcast title, all of that will be underneath tags. Um, and then when you're ready, uh, you can add a featured image, which is this here. Go to, you know, add featured image, add the featured image, and that'll basically show up on this specific post. Now, the last thing I want to tell you or show you about within post is how you can edit the post. You can either do it visually like what I'm doing here, or if you know how to code in HTML, you can do that by changing it over to the text tab and doing HTML and coding it that way. The beauty of WordPress, though, is that you can do it simply from this visual editor. And so you can go in here and type and add links like I've done here. And then this works very similar to a word processor. So if I want to change the text or the color of the text, I can just select the text here. And then up in my tools bar up here in the upper left hand corner, I can either center, center the text. I can add a, a bold or italicize it. I can underline it. I can change the, the type of, you know, is it a heading? Is it a paragraph? Do all of the stuff you normally would do within a word processor like Microsoft Word or Google Docs or something like that. Now, if you want to add a, a piece of media like an image or an audio file, basically select where you want that to go. So say if I want it to go right here, and then you'll go to add media, and then you'll upload the files just like you would to anything else. Go to upload files, select the file on your computer, and then it will basically place that image or audio or video file within that post exactly where your cursor is. Again, very, very similar to the way a word processor works. Now, I don't want you guys to get overwhelmed. This can be overwhelming. But what I want you to do is play around with this. Get your information. The main thing that's, that's important for you right now is content. Content, content, content. Once you get content, then you can start fleshing out how your site looks, how it works, the different themes you want, the different plugins that you want. But this is the basis of how to get started with a WordPress site, all the way from hosting, domain name purchasing, and then now the back end of WordPress. Remember, you can always go and learn more, but right now I've got you to the point to where you now have a URL, you now have a website ready to go, and you now have a tool, which is WordPress, that will allow you to create and make that website look good. If you don't know who I am, my name is Dusty Porter. I host the YouTube Creator Sub Podcast. I also do tutorials here on my YouTube channel commonly titled Dusty Porter. If you'd like to slap that subscribe button, hopefully you found this helpful. And don't forget to use my Bluehost link for up to 50% off and a free domain name. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any further questions, please drop those in the comments section. I or one of my community members will get to it as soon as possible. And without any further ado, talk to you guys in the next one.